and welcome to Have Guitar. Today we're gonna have a look at the software called Amazing Slow Downer and the name reveals exactly what this is all about. It's a software that can slow down music for you which is kind of practical when you're playing guitar of course. There are a couple of other ways you can do it as well. So first of all what do we want to do with something that can slow down music for you? Well you want to listen to uh, a specific song, a specific lead, a specific rhythm part because you want to figure out how they play it. But for some reason you can't hear that when it goes full speed, right? So here we have one of uh, my old band songs. I'm gonna take this as an example, not get any copyright strike or something like that. And I mean most music you can find on YouTube today. So for the amazing slowdowner you need uh, the song on a file. Uh, so what we are going to do is go into share, copy the link and then I usually use this one uh, which is YouTube to MP3. Uh, you paste the link that you just copied, convert. Once that is done and the cogwheels have stopped spinning uh, you can choose to uh, download it to Dropbox or direct download. So let's go for that. There it is, downloaded and ready. So this is the amazing slowdowner. So let's open that file that I just converted. I do have that locally but uh, offline currently. Open file. Alright so now we have uh, the nice thing is that every file will be saved here in this file list as you can see. I have a couple of KISS songs that I've been working with for different uh, uh, lessons and stuff like that. But anyway we can go into the preferences and see what we have there. For audio you can do some changes here, slow down quality, uh, what is the best, one or three? I don't know, um, but you can experiment with that if you want to. You have some controls, uh, you can use the space bar to either pause and continue or play and stop. I prefer pause and continue. You can have a delay before the playback which can or cannot be useful depending on your situation but it's a really nice option. Uh, you can wait between loops, uh, I guess that is uh, you want to run the loop, listen to it or play to it and then you want to take a break and try playing without the loop, looping music that is of course. Uh, so that's also a really nice feature. Rewind on stop, yeah why not, I think it re rewinds on stop anyway as far as I've seen. You can customize your keyboard to, um, yeah. I think you know what this is all about. If you want to tie a specific function to a specific uh, key on the keyboard, you can do that here. You have MIDI control, something that I never use, but you might have some use for it. It's there for you to just do whatever you want. USB control, I don't have any USB device that I can control this software with anyway. Uh, and then you have some general uh, software options that you can use. Uh, it works pretty good as it is, I would say. You also have a help menu, of course, blah, 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 tip of today, and yeah, you know. Well, so I have the song loaded from my old band, A Gun is a Strange Obsession. If we just press play, what happens? <laughs> Well, that's nice and everything. Uh, so uh, the whole reason for using this software is that you want to slow it down. So let's go for 60% and have a listen to it. What really makes this software stand out is that it handles the slowdown much better than YouTube. Let's have a look at YouTube because we have that function there as well. You might not be aware of that but if you press the cogwheel you get, uh, now this is in Swedish, I'm sorry for that, but play uh, rate, I guess that would be the English term for it, uh, is set for normal. Let's set that for 75% percent and start from the beginning. I think that you can hear some artifacts in that slow down process. Uh, let's go for 75 percent in the amazing slow downer as well. Ok, 
Okay, let's compare that with YouTube once more. Yep, you can absolutely hear like the drums when it just comes in with those marks, it breaks up a little bit. So the quality of the slowdown is much better in the amazing slowdowner. Uh, you also have uh, some nice features. Let's say that you have a lead part that starts at 110 and it ends at uh, 125. Sorry for the plinks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it plinks whatever I do. So now it will keep looping between 110 and 125 in the song. Let's have a look. So that looping feature you don't have in YouTube because now you need to manually go back. It's still a lot easier with the amazing slowdowner and it handles the, the, the pitch a lot better. We can try we can try doing 50% enter. That is a really, really good slow down. Let's find a lead session in this song. And yeah, it's me playing lead like 20 years ago. Uh, just to see uh, how that sounds. All right, so I've found the lead part. I'm going to play back at 75% speed. Uh, and this is what it sounds like. Mm. make your life a lot easier if you're trying to learn leads from other people other artists okay so the amazing slowdowner does not come for free it costs around 50 bucks 50 US dollars could Reaper be an option to the amazing slowdowner I don't know I haven't actually tried uh, and uh, we're gonna try it now so I'm gonna slow down the BPM to I think that should be 50% right I hope so Reaper will also slow down without losing the key, which is really important uh, for the ease of use, I would say. So this is the same tune with my old band, slow down what I guess is 50% in Reaper. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. It sounds a little bit thin. Let's do the same thing in Amazing Slowdowner, 50%. Well, uh, I would say that the winner is Amazing Slowdowner. Uh, it definitely handles the slowdown to 50% a lot better than Reaper does. Uh, that considered, Reaper is still, you can use that for free. So you don't have to pay 50 bucks. But I mean, if you use this constantly, often, many times, uh, and you I mean, also that extra sound quality will help you when you are picking out hard leads or, or rhythm parts, whatever you are trying to pluck out. Or maybe drum parts, what do I know? I'm just talking guitar now because I play guitar. But I mean, Reaper is not bad at all. 
50% slowdown is quite extreme, I would say. The Amazing Slowdowner is a really nice software and uh, you have the loop functionality that I've shown you. You can hook up the EQ and try to tweak the song to sound even better if it's some specific frequency or stuff like that that needs to be better. Let's try! Yeah, that EQ functionality, you can add that in Reaper by tossing in any VST equalizer, of course. But I mean, here you have everything in one in one piece. I often use the Amazing Slowdowner together with uh, Reaper, or maybe not together, but in conjunction with Reaper, because I'm trying a specific lead part, and while I have the rhythm parts recorded in Reaper, I'm listening in Amazing Slowdowner and trying out the part, trying to figure it out and then I go back to Reaper to record it. So that's really smooth, uh, I would say, a smooth work uh, flow. And you also have different types of slowdown types. I think 4 is the highest quality and 1 is the lowest quality. Uh, if you have a decent computer you can run for 4 and you can change the volume as well. I can just say I've, I've had a lot of use for this one because I mean it can also be like you know how to play a lead part or a rhythm part but you can't play it in the right speed and if you want to play it together with the original artist or the original recording then you can just slow it down to a part where you can cope and play it and now you can practice 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 and you can slowly increase the speed as you get the hang of it. So that's it, my little review or demo or whatever you want to call it of the Amazing Slowdowner. Uh, a software that I got a tip about somewhere on a guitar forum, something like that. I don't remember exactly, uh, but I have had so much use for it and I figured it would be nice to have a, I don't know, a review, a demo or whatever you want to call this video about this software because uh, should I say it again? I've had lots of use for it. Let's not say that again now. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope it gave you something uh, that you didn't have before. And uh, yeah, hopefully so. And that's it really. I don't have anything more to say. Just want you, I, I do have something more to say. There is a new video out every Thursday. To all of you who do subscribe, thanks a lot. You are gold. I've said that before and I'll say it again, you are gold. Uh, thanks for that support, I appreciate it so much. And uh, <laughs> anyway, I hope to see you in the next video, okay? Uh, so stay healthy, clean and play really hard until I see you the next time. Goodbye.